and welcome to Discover Labyrinths with Lars Hallett. Today we're going to create classical labyrinths from a spiral. So basically you just create a spiral. Um, I'm going to freehand it. Let's see. We're going to put the pin down and we're going to count one where the pin touches the ground. One, two, three, four, five. So there's one, two, three, four, five uh, lines on this point or whatever here down at the bottom of the spiral. And all we have to do is draw up four like this and then one on each side, two paths, and then erase the entrance to the labyrinth, the entrance to the center, and then these two line ends and there is our three circuit classical labyrinth from a spiral. Now you can see that this center gets a little off. Um, so what's even cooler is to increase this to seven points on the spiral so one two three four five six seven and if we do that and only draw our line up four circuits in here and then we put one two circuit line on this side and one two circuit line on that side and then erase these three to create the entrance to the labyrinth, right? And then erase these three on the other side. And then the two line ends here and here. Then actually what we've created is a um, five circuit chakra vayu labyrinth, which actually is meant to have a spiral center so this ends up looking perfect. It looks exactly like a chakra vayu should look. So this is my new fastest favorite technique for creating a quick and easy labyrinth. Okay, to make a five circuit classical labyrinth from a spiral, you just need to create seven loops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and then you, you make a line all the way from the top to bottom, and then you put a line of four on either side, and then another line of two on either side of that. And then your line ends. And then you erase your entrance to the labyrinth. You erase your entrance to the center. You erase three lines on this side and three lines on this side because these turns are nested one inside the other and then finally at your line ends and there you have a five circuit classical labyrinth from a spiral. And again, you can see this center is kind of off a little bit, but if you do this in masking tape on the floor or flagging ribbon outdoors, you can readjust this center to kind of make it a little better. Plus you can start your spiral a little bigger to have a larger center. Um, so finally a seven circuit labyrinth. So we'll make this center a little bigger. A classical seven circuit. So we'll start with kind of a bigger center. Okay. We're gonna go nine, one, two. We're gonna go nine times around. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And so we're going to draw, let's see, 
a line of four from the outside in. One, two, three, four. And then two and two. And these are going to be your line ends. And then you're going to come in here and do the same thing. Is this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? Uh, does this line go all the way? I guess this line goes all the way. And then you go two here and two here. Line in, line in. So you've skipped two paths here. And so then you erase your entrance like this. You're going to come around and you're going to erase this. You're going to erase these two line ends. Then you're going to erase these three that bring you into the center. Erase these three on the other side. And finally, these two line ends. And there you have it, a seven circuit classical labyrinth drawn from a spiral. And this can be really um, easily laid out full size for a walkable classical labyrinth, either in um, masking tape or ribbon. So.